For as long as human eyes have turned upward toward the night sky, we've searched for meaning. We built stories in the stars, traced constellations across the dark, and imagined the heavens as a vast stage upon which the drama of existence unfolds. From early sky watchers in ancient Mesopotamia to modern astrophysicists with powerful telescopes, our species has always asked the same question. What is our place in all of this? To answer it, we constructed models of the universe, scientific frameworks built on generations of observation and theory. We charted celestial mechanics, calculated cosmic distances, and gradually began to understand the life cycles of stars and galaxies. We built the standard model of physics, refined general relativity, and created the Big Bang Theory to explain the origin of everything we see. Until recently, these ideas formed the bedrock of modern cosmology. We believed we had a grasp, however, partial of how the universe began and how it continues to evolve. But all of that, the maps, the models, the equations, is now in question. The James Webb Space Telescope, the most advanced observatory ever launched, was designed to look farther into the cosmos than any instrument before it. With its infrared vision, it can peer back in time, capturing light that has traveled for billions of years. What it was meant to reveal were the early stages of galaxy formation, the building blocks of the modern universe. But what it actually found was something else entirely. From its earliest images, Webb began returning views of the universe more detailed and luminous than anything previously captured. But hidden within this beauty were anomalies, structures and phenomena that simply should not be there. In the galaxy cluster, Abel 2744, scientists observed points of light arranged with a symmetry that defies randomness. These weren't chaotic, scattered points like we expect from galactic formation. They were organized, as though placed according to some unknown pattern. The arrangement was so precise it evoked discomfort, suggesting a form of order beyond anything natural. Then came NGC 1365, a massive barred spiral galaxy where gravitational dynamics, measured carefully, refused to follow the most basic rules of physics. The motions of matter within the galaxy were inconsistent with even the most flexible of our models. At first, scientists dismissed these cases as outliers or errors, but Webb kept observing. And the more it looked, the stranger the universe became. Identical geometric patterns were found repeating across regions of space separated by billions of light years. Statistical flukes? Coincidence? Possibly, until they continued to multiply. Structures aligned along invisible axes, gravitational effects appearing in mathematically elegant formations. All of it hinted at a reality that might be fundamentally structured, perhaps even designed, in ways that defy current understanding. But that was only the beginning. The discovery of the exoplanet CHIP 65426b dealt another blow to conventional thinking. Orbiting a young star just 15 million years old, this planet is a gas giant over seven times the mass of Jupiter. Yet it lies farther from its host than Neptune does from our Sun. And that's not all. There is no visible debris disk around. The star which is typically considered essential for forming such a large planet. There is no known physical process that could explain how it came to exist in its current position. It's as if it appeared fully formed. Some theorists now speculate that this world may not have formed in its current system at all. What if it is a cosmic migrant, an orphan from an earlier cycle of the universe? Could it be a remnant of a previous epoch, somehow surviving the collapse of one cosmic age and drifting into the next. The implications are staggering. That planetary systems might not only persist beyond the death of stars, but even across universes. Another discovery pushed the mystery even deeper. Around galaxy J0418, Webb observed an Einstein ring formed through gravitational lensing, a well-documented phenomenon where light is bent by the gravity of a massive object, but this ring was different. It was nearly flawless, a perfect circle of light, so exact that the odds of it occurring naturally are vanishingly small. In physics, perfection is rare. Nature favors chaos, entropy, and imperfection. But this lens was so symmetrical, so precise, that it appeared engineered. 
Could it be that space-time itself contains traces of intentional geometry? Is it possible that what we perceive as the fabric of the cosmos is not a random weave but a designed structure? Then came the most disorienting revelation yet, the detection of massive, fully formed galaxies, some only 180 million years after the supposed E. Big Bang. According to our best models, such complexity takes billions of years to emerge. Galaxies need time to accrete matter, form stable stars and evolve into coherent structures. Yet these ancient giants were already present, blazing across the cosmic dawn. If they are as old as they seem, our understanding of the Big Bang is fundamentally flawed. Either the universe formed far earlier than we thought, or the beginning itself is not what we imagined. It opens the door to a radical possibility that our universe is not the first. That before this one there were others, and that fragments of those forgotten epochs may still linger within our cosmic horizon. Then, in a region of space thought to be empty, devoid of galaxies, stars, or any visible matter, Webb recorded a gravitational lensing effect with unusual strength and clarity. This distortion of light could not be accounted for by any visible mass. At first, researchers assumed it must be a cloud of dark matter, but the effect was too sharp, too defined. It was not the diffuse pull of invisible particles. It seemed to be cast by an object, a hidden structure with mass and boundaries exerting influence from the shadows. What it is, no one knows. But it is there. The strangeness continued. Webb mapped an immense cosmic filament, a string of galaxies stretching across more than a billion light-years. This isn't entirely unheard of. Large-scale structures exist in the universe. But what made this filament shocking was the mathematical precision of its alignment. The galaxies were arranged not haphazardly, but along a pattern so orderly it resembled an artificial grid. Mainstream explanations fall back on gravity sculpting matter over time. But a few voices in the scientific community whisper a different possibility. That this could be evidence of deliberate construction, the leftover signature of an ancient intelligence shaping the very architecture of the universe. And then, perhaps, the most unsettling find of all, the pulses. During a deep field scan of what should have been an empty void, Webb detected rhythmic flashes of light. Not pulsars, not quasars. These signals repeated with the precision of a machine. Then, without warning, they stopped. No explanation was found. The phenomenon was confirmed by multiple observation systems. This was no error. This was real. A pattern, emerging from a place with no stars, no radiation and no heat. A message, perhaps, not one we are meant to decipher, but simply to notice. A tap on the shoulder of cosmic awareness. Something saying, you are not alone. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to explore the early universe, to shed light on the past. But what it may have uncovered is something deeper, a glimpse into the fundamental structure of reality itself. What if we are part of a system governed by laws that were not just born of chaos, but established with intention? What if the universe is not simply expanding, but unfolding according to a design far older than stars, older than matter, older than time? We now stand at the threshold of a new cosmic awareness. Galaxies that defy origin, planets that shouldn't exist. Shadows, where nothing should cast them. Signals echoing from the dark. Structures that hint at logic, at intelligence. This is no longer about science fiction or speculation. This is the universe revealing itself. Not just as a space of natural processes, but possibly as a crafted realm, a construct, a message. And so the question remains, are we uncovering the work of an ancient architect, a cosmic intelligence long departed but not forgotten? Or are we merely seeing what we want to see, patterns in the noise, hope in the void? Either way, the veil has been lifted, and what lies beyond is more mysterious, more terrifying and more beautiful than we ever imagined.